What's up, my folks? What y'all know about that? Y'all know it's summertime when we in here yep, yep. frying. Frying that fish, boys. Frying that fish. I hope y'all are doing good. As a matter of fact, we went to the pond and drowned a few worms, you know, cut a little cane pole and put some line on it and dug up some earthworms. Show them what you caught, Jeffro. Uh, this is all small goldfish. That's Your little old bluegill. Nothing, nothing major. A little something, something. Nice little bluegill. Nice little red belly. About, about four of his best friends. <laughs> yeah, about four of us. We got five of his best friends. But, yep, I hope everyone's doing good. I'm gonna, we're going to do a cook-off fried fish. Can y'all smell that? It smells pretty good. But uh, let's talk a little bit about the, the bloodlines and the dogs, too, while I'm, while I'm cooking. Because I've seen there was a couple comments. Uh, y'all like how we do it in the woods, man? Right up here in the carport with the dogs and shit. The tank get fed tonight? But anyway, uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. I'll feed him a little bit. Um, but anyway, let's talk a little bit about bloodlines, because there has been a lot of, a lot of stuff about, about the turtle buster, and this and that. And I've seen some comments, uh, made by a little gal about, um, you know, about Danielle me about her dogs being garbage and what money. Let, let's just let's just roll back a little bit. I hate it when people call somebody paint somebody's yard or dogs with a, br a wide brush. You know what I'm saying? Let's just and I'm not being ugly to you. I, I know I know who you are. I know quite a bit about you actually. You uh, actually dealt with some of uh, my people too. Reason in being is you dealt with them is because of what you were some of the advertising you was doing and the blood and I. I think I even remember hearing through through the through everybody that they even mentioned that they had got a, a good dog off that stuff and uh, of course you know it's just garbage though right and then I believe they got two or two dogs from you as well um, how did them work out you know what I'm saying there's there's you can't be that way that's a young there's you got to understand there's different types of different levels in these dogs different maturity level in these dogs you know and and them dogs that whole bunch up there has is not known for being very honest let's just be honest about it <laughs> I mean let's just be honest about it um you know I mean Good dogs are where you find them, but you got to understand when you're breeding with the games dogs and messing with those games dogs, especially someone like me. The only th the thing with me is I've been fooling with them for a long time, different dogs off of different ones and things, and I really sit back and I watch these dogs, and I really watch. I evaluate my dogs very hard, very you know, and um, I gotta say, and I, I hear the people that talk about them you know that that were there and give me information back in the day as well when I was messing with the dogs and I could see the difference in those dogs I have to believe a lot of the stuff that is said about them okay because I don't really believe a lot of the bullshit that that's on the paperwork that's what I'm saying about you can't breed paperwork you have to breed them dogs according to a bulldog that's why i really don't even pay attention a whole lot to the paperwork if it's a good good dog if i like that dog and it's off a good family of dogs that's producing good dogs i don't really care anymore about the paperwork because that shit is so polluted and the Gaines family is one of the most can jeff can you think of any other fucking dogs with all the drama around them mm, not really not really i mean every every family got their drama right but, but the as the game yeah, yeah the intensity of that shit it, 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 it's, it's the games it's the games dogs you know and a lot of the folks don't understand but kenny you can look in his pedigrees clearly and see that he was a uh, uh, very fond of the paladin dog i mean he used it quite a bit as his crosses and his blood mm -hmm. and after having these dogs for years, I have to agree with a gentleman that left a comment on a video recently and I that have, was around those dogs at that time up there with them because my dogs just was sent back to me. Now, the first set of dogs that we got was from off of Sting, Spicer Sting. They were 
It was said on the pedigrees they were off of the sting stuff. It was for them the the Satan and Weezer blood. And uh those dogs at the same time that I got them, they I also had Paladin dogs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the sting dogs were just as fucking nasty, could bite just as hard, but were faster than my Paladin dogs. But they had a lot in common with them and other things too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as I started studying these dogs and we started looking at these dogs, then with the next batch, now I used, I ain't gonna lie, I used those, uh, those sting dogs in, um, it ain't ready yet. Um, I'm just separating them so they don't stick. But I used those sting dogs in my breeding program back then and got good dogs off that shit when I crossed them back into, uh, other Eli blood and Boyle's blood. That's what I crossed them dogs to and got good dogs. But, um, then we got the what the hell were them dogs? We went that they were crossed with the Ramsey's blood. Them, that that pair we got, they weren't really nothing special. That was Fargo blood. Talking about the, uh, the little black Quentin and, the, and, and, and Tracy and, dog. Yeah, um, and those dogs weren't nothing really to write home about. And but they were crossed. They also had some of the Tant's blood in them. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the Eli blood on the top were the bully son from Ramsey's already in Cherry. But they just, you know, they they weren't the same quality as the sting dogs. So then we got a few more other shits. Some Fargo stuff. Some, then we got, well, it's that shit that I thought was looking pretty good that, that Rebel got. It was supposed to be that double bred motorhead shit. Remember that little black bitch? She was real fast. Real fast mouth. I said, if I didn't know any better, I'd say she was a fucking paladin dog. Damn, I forgot. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, that little bitch, and she was supposed to be the double head motorhead dog, but to come out, it was supposed to be six bit sig dog and all this shit. But I don't know what it was anyway, so I really can't claim that one. You know, when they do good, it's a, it was a motorhead dog. When it wasn't doing good, it was a a sig dog. You know, but uh, anyway, so we had them, and then. Of course, we had Buster throughout this time, too. And Buster has proven to be, from what I've seen, the game is strain of it. That shit right yeah, there. Yeah. Bug eye, Popeye. That Popeye. stuff. Yep. I don't care what no one says or no one hates or no one um repeats because there's a lot of parrots in these dogs. That strain is a good damn strain of dogs, man. Performance and producing. They are too straightforward. Yeah. They are too straightforward. Um... But, you know, I'm not happy about having the red dog, and I try to stay away from the Fargo. We've never went. Nope. 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 Not one bit. Not one. Well, we have, but we don't now. I mean, not we tried it. Not mm -mm. like, you know, on a. No. No, I don't know. On a program or nothing. Um, But, yeah, I, I just try to stick with the bug eye dogs. And sometimes you have to get the Fargo in them. Because that's the way they breed them. They breed them. Pe people coffee table breed these damn dogs, man. And they see Gaines, 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 and they're trying to stick up Gaines' name. You know? All right. That's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to just stack up Gaines' name instead of looking at the dogs behind it. I'd rather have an inbred Popeye dog than one with Gaines all the way across it. Wouldn't you? From what I've seen, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can work with that shit and not have a clock up your dog's ass. Mm-hmm. That was always my, my, my problem with them some bitches. They were bad as hell, man, and they were impressive, but they would have a clock up their ass. Now, and I know there's a lot of guys now that are watching this channel that agree with me on that shit. But, you know, sometimes you're going to have to put a little bit of, of the other stuff in there to keep the keep it somewhat. Like the little bitch that we got out there bred the bullet, it's got a little bit of that red dog in it. I mean, it ain't like we went looking for it. It's just how the bitch is bred. But... My boy that had her, I trust his opinions. He says she's a good dog. I believe him. I hadn't seen her myself, but he's, he says she's a good dog. And, and his word is his bond in that, you know, and, and he's always been honest with me, you know. So we'll take a little bit of it there, but we'll, we'll breed it back out to the, the Popeye. You know, we'll breed the Popeye back over it. And, of course, we'll do our, our other shit. I've seen a lot of comments about the Red Boy and the Jeep, or the Jeep. Um... Yeah, Jeep. I mean, I could go after Jeep. Our buddy's got the best Jeep. I, I think some of the best Jeep in the world. Wouldn't you? I mean, Gene's Lug, uh, Chance Floyd, whatever. They all got all that shit. I mean, I could chase it. 
but it's not the same as what them dogs were bred to back then. It's individual dogs, and they ain't the same individuals, man. And that's that's all it is. Individual dogs produce. I, I swear to, to y'all, that's that's the thing. Certain dogs produce certain strains, produce certain things, and and others don't. I mean, I think that Gaines was more interested in breeding mouth and roughness to get that shit real real rough. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And and he did do that, but sometimes he sacrificed the other for that. You know. But anyway, guys, we're about to eat some of this fish up. I hope y'all uh, have a great Sunday night and y'all keep on bulldogging. And I just want to say a little bit of that because there's a lot of, you know, there's different. Don't be parrots now. Don't be parrots. And you can't judge a family of dogs off a dog or two. They're not all going to be good. I mean, but s consistently is what you're after in these dogs. And it don't matter what who they come from, who bred them, what, who hates who. Or any of that, but you really got to ask yourself when people start running each other's, like, other yards down, other strings, and, you know, other people down. There's a reason, man. Don't, and that, that got real popular about 15 years ago, didn't it? Oh, yeah. I mean, really? that's what a lot of them guys about 15 years ago started doing on this computer shit. Running dog people's names down and the dogs down that they never even laid eyes on, you know. You can't do that, guys. Y'all take care and keep on bulldogging.